Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all having a great and wonderful day. There will be more news coming out. I'm still doing research on one because obviously there is a bit things that's coming up with the Kentucky governor. But uh, that one's a bit weird because I have to do a lot of research. Some things may be taken out of context, so I still got to work on that one. But the one that I'm going to be talking about today is Carly. Harvey Davidson, to where they have finally dropped DEI, and uh, there is, seems to be a quick shift. Now, of course, that does not mean everything is going swell. I think I agree with some of the people that more things seem to happen, so we're going to direct you into it. Let's go with this here with Robbie Starbuck saying, Another win for our movement. I couldn't do this, all, do this with all, all of you. Harley Davidson just issued this statement where they promise no more DEI functions, no more supplier diversity spend goals. They'll no longer participate in HRSC scoring. Sponsorship activities are changing and will focus exclusively on motorcycling, first responders, active military, and veterans. No more woke trainings with associated motivated messaging inside of them. And Harley Davidson corporate can be sad all they want, but our movement gets results. And that's what's going on here. So, uh... They go on to say, this is from Harley Davidson themselves, saying, We remain committed to listening to all members of our community as we continue on our journey together as one Harley Davidson. United we ride. Goes on to say here, my friends, that uh, it goes, For over 120 years, Harley Davidson has brought the joy of motorcycling to riders around the world, no matter who they are, where they come from, or what they believe in. That doesn't seem to be the case when you guys were talking about what you were doing, but I digress. We have a guiding principle, United We Ride. It defines how we run our business and treat our people and underscores our commitment to welcoming all. We are saddened by the negativity on social media over the last few weeks, designed to divide the Harley Davidson community. As a company, we take this issue very seriously and it's our responsibility to respond with clarity, actions, and action and facts. Earlier this year, we initiated an internal stakeholder review to better align company activities to the needs of both our businesses and community. Based on a review, we are committed to the following. DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. We see it as every leader's role to ensure we have an employee base that reflects our customers and the geographies in which we operate. It is critical to our business that we hire and retain the best talent and that all employees feel welcome. That said, we have not operated a DEI function since April, uh, April 2024, six months, and we do not have a DEI function today. Or maybe not six months, but but three months at the very least. We do not have hiring quotas, and we no longer have supplier diversity spend goals. Bergs to ensure alignment of our bergs with the business moving forward. We will be providing executive management to each group to exclude exclusively focus on professional development, networking, and mentoring. And it goes on to say sponsorship and, and aff affiliations. We are reviewing all sponsorship and organizations we are affiliated with. Actions stemming from that ongoing inc review include all sponsorship activities will now be centrally approved and managed efforts through the company or the Hardy Davidson Foundation. As a consumer brand, we will focus exclusively on growing the report in the sport of motorcycling and retaining our loyal riding community in addition to the support we already provide to first responders, active military and members, and veterans. The Harley Davidson Foundation is committed to driving positive change in Milwaukee, such as through the recently unveiled Davidson Park at our John New Avenue headquarters. The employee training, the company will continually evaluates its training opportunity to ensure they are right for our workforce. And training provided will be related to the needs of the business and absent of socially motivated content. Only legally required training has been, ever been mandatory at Harley Davidson. So that's pretty much the, what they have. I don't need to read anything else. But here's the problem that I have with this, guys, right? A lot of people are saying here is that you know, from this Blue Diamond man, he said, Harley Davidson, thank you for putting this statement out. However, as a lifelong motorcyclist, Harley owner, and someone who has actually, who actually was featured in the Harley uh, Enthusiast magazine years ago, you seem to be clearly hanging on to the pro problematic policy of DEI. We all know DEI is an internal corporate code for anti-white male agenda to perpetrate advancements of hiring people of certain backgrounds. This is the primary policy that has your customers so angered. The right thing to do is not have any DEI policy and hire the best people, no matter what the racial background, sex, or religion is of that individual. That's the American way. Your customers are looking for you to get to set an example in corporate America and no longer support any diversity, equity, inclusion policies culture. It is of itself a racist policy. Additionally, Harvest Harley Everson is at the pinnacle of American-made pride. 
we, 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 when Ronald Reagan visited the factory in the late 80s, he talked about how proud America was at Hardy's comeback and was leading the world once again in manufacturing bikes made in the USA. You insult your customers by offshore manufacturing of several of your motorcycles in a foreign land. That should create more American jobs, uh, and every motorcycle is looking to buy at Harley Davidson the world over wants to see the wonderful stamp on those bikes that say, Made in the, in the USA. Lastly, you need to replace your CEO immediately. He made his vision crystal clear to the public and wanted to take Harley Davidson to be a totally different type of company that the public does not want. Please look into some great American business leaders who would take over the realms at the Harley Davidson. So, again, it says, also you do realize that Harvey Davidson are no longer manufactured in the U.S., right? Toyota is more, is more made in the same market than HD. Dude, you have no clue what you're talking about. Uh, it says, uh, Re Regan saved the company by demanding 40% off on Harvey's competition because it was a junk product. Uh, again, this is, a, this is a long wide of things going on. Bikers are ever loved by Harvey Davidson. Ever F this. Harvey Davidson says it will st still support DEI. You hate Harvey Davidson because they implemented DEI. I hate Harvey Davidson because they failed to capture a younger audience. We are not the same. Again, uh, again, people are criticizing this. And I think that one thing that Harvey Davidson should do is maybe, yeah, remove their CEO. Remove the board possibly as well. And the reason why I say this it's because a lot of these companies at the helm, they'll say this to save face, but they won't actually implement the actual policies. They'll still do DEI, as they probably they which they have mentioned. They'll still do all these other things, and that is not good enough, in my opinion. I think anybody that did this woke stuff, this DEI stuff, and what have you, I think all these CEOs should be fired. I think the board should be removed, and I think everything should be completely remade from scratch. Put in an actual American government, uh, uh, an actual American uh, CEO, person that loves actual American culture, etc., and put them in and and have diff and make sure they're not DEI warranted because obviously the CEO is at the helm. He will just probably secretly implement this stuff, secretly have this stuff going on, and he can't be trusted. So I agree that the CEO and possibly even the board need to be completely removed. It goes on to say Harley Davidson is dropping diversity initiatives after right wing anti DEI campaign. And I don't think that these guys are completely right wing, right? I don't I don't I haven't really seen too much proof of this. I think I think the problem with the media is, is that a lot of these guys, they start talking about, you know, uh, this as like, you know, right wing, anybody going anti-DEI or what have you is just right wing when it's just not the case. Uh, I think a lot of people are more in the middle than people, than the Democrats or the far left want to realize. And a lot of people don't like this DEI stuff in general. So I don't know what you're talking about. I even talked to somebody that is more on the Democratic side. And even they are not very happy on what is going on. Like, you guys lie about the actual food industry. and uh, uh, Like, not the food industry, but like how the economy is great and all. But they know on how much they have to pay and how much they have to decide on what money is. You're in, they're on the more Democratic side. And they're, they see what's going on here. So, I don't know about you guys, but this lie is just not working. And it's kind of annoying for a lot of people, uh, for, for you guys doing this. So, again, this is all crazy. But is, is it a step in the right direction? I think that we, uh, I think it's a move, a great move forward. But I, I honestly think that we need to, uh, we need to, uh, fire the CEO. I think the CEO needs to go, and I think we'll be a, a way better off in, in, um, and where we're at in society, or and for the company in general, and for the customers. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, guys, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease. The social media.